It's important to know that viruses always change over time. So every time a virus goes from one person to another person, that's an opportunity for them to mutate or adapt and change. And that's normally just what they do. The variants that we're talking about right now, the, the two most important ones are the UK variant from the United Kingdom, known as B117, and then there's a South African variant as well. Um, the B117 variant from the UK is, is already well established in the United States. The good news is it does not appear to be causing more severe disease than what is known as wild type or the, the normal COVID-19 virus. However, it does appear to be much more transmissible. And so when you have a population that still is very susceptible to COVID, the fact that it is much more transmissible means that many more people may get sick and many more people may die than we would expect otherwise, um, even though the, the virus itself isn't more severe. The South African variant is a little bit newer and we don't know quite as much about that. Um, it does not appear to be spreading quite as rapidly as the uh, UK variant. So it may not be uh, more fit uh, to transmit between person to person um, as the UK variant. It does appear to have more effect on vaccine effectiveness than the UK variant does, however. So we really need to pay attention um, and this is not the time to start relaxing, whether it's social distancing, masking, you know, choosing to be vaccinated, all of those things really need to happen in order to prevent um, another wave or another surge of COVID-19 going into the spring.